Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about derived unit and in that we'll be covering the topic, concept and explanation related to derived units. This is the second video related to that. In this video we'll be focusing on steps for calculating derived units. So let's see what all topics we'll be covering in this video. Uh, we'll be discussing about how to get derived units using fundamental units, the steps. Along with that, we'll be doing some practice examples. So let's start. First of all, the steps, how to get derived units using fundamental units. You can see here that I've written the steps on the left hand side and I've taken the unit of speed. Uh, the procedure for calculating the unit of speed are on the right hand side. So let us study the steps with the help of example which is calculating the unit of speed. The first step, write the formula of a derived quantity. Uh, so if we need to find the unit of speed, the derived uh, quantity is speed. So uh, the speed is equals to distance upon time. So the first step is done. The second step, find the fundamental quantity or quantities present in the formula. So here in this case we have two fundamental quantities. The distance is a fundamental quantity and the time is a fundamental quantity. Now the third step, write the units of fundamental quantity or quantities present in the formula. So the fundamental unit of distance is meter and the fundamental unit of time is second. So we have written here. Now the fourth point, the acquired unit of systematic equation gives the unit of derived quantities. As discussed in their part one video of derived units that the derived quantity and the units are nothing but the result of some systematic equations resulted from either multiplying or dividing the fundamental quantity and the units. So you can see here that I'm getting the derived uh, quantity speed uh, which is distance upon time by dividing the uh, fundamental unit of distance which is meter by the fundamental unit of time which is second. So the unit of speed is meter per second. But before practicing some other examples, I have one question in mind that if uh, one of the fundamental quantity is a uh, derived quantity here, like here we have both the fundamental quantity, but instead of one fundamental quantity, I have here the derived quantity, then what should I do? What I will do in that case? So uh, let's uh, clarify this confusion first, then I'll teach you other examples. So, if one of the unit is a derived unit in the formula, then what we should do? The answer is that, first of all, we have to convert that particular derived unit into fundamental unit. So, the basic is that uh, we have to come down to the fundamental quantity and the fundamental uh, unit for proceeding further. If we have the fundamental quantities, uh, then it's fine, but if we don't have, then we have to convert the derived quantity into fundamental quantity and we have to convert the derived unit into fundamental unit before getting the final answer. So uh, let us uh, practice some examples so that we understand like how we're gonna uh, uh, do the calculations. So let us practice some examples. The first one, momentum. The unit of momentum is derived from unit of mass and velocity. So uh, in this uh, example, we have to uh, find the units for momentum. So we'll be following the steps that we have just learned. So let's start from the step one. Write the formula of drive quantity. So the formula of the drive quantity, which is momentum, is equal to mass into velocity. So we will be using the unit of mass and velocity to find the units of momentum. Now the second step. Find the fundamental or drive quantity or quantities present in the formula. As I've discussed earlier that if in the question both of them are fundamental quantities then it's very easy. But as you can see here that we have one fundamental quantity which is mass and then we have the another uh, quantity velocity which is a derived uh, quantity. So in this case uh, what we need to do, first of all we need to convert this derived quantity in terms of 
fundamental quantity and we have to write velocity in terms of fundamental units before finding the units for momentum. So in step two, first of all, we'll be finding your units of velocity. So velocity is displacement upon time. Uh, the fundamental unit of displacement is meter and the fundamental unit of time is second. So the velocity can be written in terms of fundamental units as meter per second. So now the units of velocity in terms of fundamental units is meter per second and the fundamental unit for mass is kg. Now both of them, the units of mass and velocity uh, are in terms of fundamental units so now we can substitute the value in this given equation. So the unit for the mass is kg and the unit for velocity is meter per second. So the units of momentum in terms of fundamental units or base unit is kg meter per second. This is the final answer. Now the second example. Work. We have to find the unit of work. The unit of work is derived from units of force and displacement. So we'll follow the steps. First of all, we'll write the formula of work. The formula of work is force into displacement. As you can see here that displacement is a fundamental quantity uh, whereas the force is a derived quantity. So the second step is that find the fundamental or the derived quantity or quantities in the formula. First of all we have to write the units of force in terms of fundamental or the base units. So in second step we will be first of all writing the formula for force, that is force is mass into acceleration. Now we will be calculating the units for uh, force, that is force is equal to mass into acceleration. As mass is a, a fundamental quantity, so the fundamental unit of mass is kg and the acceleration is a derived quantity. We know that acceleration is velocity upon time. Now what is velocity? Velocity is displacement upon time and we have this time here. So uh, this comes out to be displacement upon time square. So this is the formula for acceleration in terms of base quantities that is displacement upon time square. Now if we write the units, the fundamental unit for distance is meter and the fundamental unit of time is second. So the acceleration in terms of uh, fundamental units comes out to be meter per second square. So now we have uh, the units of force as kg into meter per second square in terms of fundamental units. And the fundamental unit of displacement is meter. Now we know the units of displacement as well as force in terms of base units. We can substitute the value uh, of uh, units of force and displacement in this equation. So let's substitute force kg into meter per second square and displacement is meter. So this will come out to be kg meter square upon second square. So this is the unit of work in terms of base units. In case you want to write the unit of work in terms of special unit of force which is Newton then also we can write. It's quite simple. Work is equals to force into displacement and uh, there's whole is equals to uh, Newton which is a special unit for force. So this work comes out to be Newton into meter. So if we want to write the unit of work in other units we can write as Newton meter. Else in case of base units is kg meter square upon second square. So that was all about the steps for writing the derived units from fundamental units. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.